Have you ever wondered on how a choke works on a carbureted bike? Like what happens when you pull the choke? The choke, as the name suggests, chokes the engine off of the air. The reason it does so is to increase the fuel that is getting sucked in. Now, how does that work? Let's try to understand. The carburetor has two passages for air to flow and two jets for fuel supply. For airflow, it is the main passage that is utilized in all engine load scenarios except when it's idling. For idling, it is the smaller passage which is basically just a hole that is used. Similarly, when it comes to fuel supply, it's the smaller or pilot jet that is used for idling or very low throttle inputs and the main jet is used for all other engine loads. The main jet's fuel supply, however, is controlled with the help of a needle. Here is where it gets a little tricky. The main passage has a sort of a slider plate along with the main jet needle. Now, as you roll the throttle, both the needle and this slider plate go up to allow more air and more fuel. However, when the choke is pulled, a plate, a different one, completely blocks this main passage. This creates a bigger pressure differential between the atmosphere and the engine, hence allowing more fuel to be sucked from the smaller pilot jet. And that is how you get more fuel by choking the air supply.